Hello everybody, uh, it is I, the Cynical Shiny, once again, bringing you more Valkyrie Crusade. I know that intro gets a little tiresome, but it's the only one I can really come up with. All of my other ones just don't feel that funny. Uh, before we go through the first level, like I wanted to show you all, uh, I want to kind of go through this little uh, information about the new event. And how the Goth Oracle Arch Witch... Uh, you can only obtain it through certain means. It will not drop as a regular reward, just like the last event with uh, Ice Wolf Skull did as a regular reward. I should know. I got one that way. This Fantasy Arch Witch, though, will not appear that way. And the only way you can get it is, A, through maxing out its likability rating, or B, as uh, my friend Izzy has told me, Shout out to Izzy, by the way. I want to just say thank you for all your comments. I appreciate them. Keep them coming. Um, that you can get one through uh, ranking 500 or above in this event. I don't ever see myself ranking maybe higher than a couple of thousand. Like, the best ranking I've ever gotten on one of these events is like in the 8,000s. Which... Considering how many people are playing this game, and like doing these events, and always, and you know, on the game at any time of the day, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I could do better. I just kind of get lazy after a while, especially if I get the card that I want in the event, or I'm like, okay, well, I've basically done all I can in this event. I ain't going any higher than I am, kind of thing. Blah blah blah. You know, then I just kind of stop. This event, though, I'm just. I have a weird feeling about it for some reason. I can't explain that. It just feels really odd to me. But anyway, here's the mansion at the edge of town. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the first level again because I tried doing the first level for you all last night, but like I reported, uh, the game restarted on me in the middle of recording a video, and I had to basically scrap that video and start over again, and it saddened me deeply. But basically, the gist of this is, there's a, uh, there's a rumor going around in this, uh, particular place about a, uh, ghost that lives in this mansion. Uh, used to be the owner of the house until she passed away, and she has now become a sundered spirit because she lost her life and soul, and is basically condemned to walk between the realms of life and death. And her whole thing is, anybody that enters this mansion, I'm going to drag them down to hell, maybe? I don't know. It's kind of weird. Poltergeisty, even. But anyway, I'm going to go through this first level for y'all, and as you can see here, I'm fighting this arch witch. I can't remember what level she's on. I've almost maxed out one of her likability hearts, but... It's been kind of stingy giving me another one lately. I can't see the uh, le what level she was at, and okay. And as I, as you can see, I have not gone through any of my rewards yet. I will eventually. I may record it. I may not. I don't know. All right, let's see what this Archwitch level is. I'm trying to remember here. Uh, forty-three. Level forty-three. About seventy. 4,000 soldiers, if you will. And, uh... Well, let's see. Alright, that's good. Ouch. That took a good chunk out of her life. Uh-huh. Alright, let's do this. Where is my light of the allies attack? But I'll hit her with that, and then I'll smack her in the face with that... with that Felipe card. Yay! So basically... And my high vampire's likability has risen. Or friendship, or love, whatever you want to call it. Which, she's one of the cards that I can awaken once I have all the stones to awaken her. I'm not quite got them all yet. I may actually break down and spend some money on this game and buy an awakening lab. Just to see if that can help me get the get the stones that I need so I can awaken her, so I can have two awoken cards in my group, which would definitely, definitely help me a lot. 
and I feel like a fool that I didn't realize that I had so many cards that I had the auto skill of raising all the units attack by 5% or 10% and my high vampire my HSR high vampires uh, level on her special ability is level 7 not quite maxed out but close I could max it out if I wanted to I just ain't spent the medals on it yet but her special ability raises my group's attack t by plus 20% 20%, that is a big difference. That's at least a thousand points of damage on my stronger cards. And that's not even saying if they're the opposite or the, like, uh, oh, how well can I put this? Uh, okay, like, Veronica's a dark type archwitch, right? See, I have three lights in my group. So take their attack, their max attack right now. Uh, these haven't really been maxed out with Arcana or anything, because at the time I had no idea about that kind of thing, so I didn't really do it. But, take their card's attack, add 20% to it, to each of theirs. Like, okay, like, uh, Felipe, or Felipa, or whatever you, however you want to pronounce that, I call her Felipe. Um, uh, basically her attack... I believe is like in the 10,000s, I think? Something like that? Take that amount plus 20%. That's a huge damage bonus. And not only that, she is the opposite element of the Archwitch, so not only will she hit harder because she is the opposite element, but she will do more damage because my High Vampire card is the, hey, all your units attack in your night, unit group, plus 20%. And that's at level 7. Once I have it maxed out, I think it might be go up to like at least 25 to 30%. Which that'll be like, that's 20, 30% more than what she did originally. Sorry everybody, I'm going to have to close my door here. My cat's running around acting crazy. I know y'all don't need to hear about that. You come here to li listen to me talk about Valkyrie Crusade. And I try to please. Now, like I was saying before, this event, I'm just not sure about it. Like, the Ice Wolves and Summer Snow event, I really liked that one. I liked the cards that they were giving out. Of course, that's a whole different thing for a whole different series of videos or... Uh, just me talking about it. Maybe I'll do that one day, maybe not, because that's my thing. But anyway, I liked that event. This event, I'm, I'm just... I don't know if it's the fact that you can't get, like, the good Fantasy Archwitch. Which I don't know if the Sundered Spirit is actually any good. Maybe she is. Maybe she's better than the Goth Oracle. But the fact that they point out that, like, oh, the Goth Oracle is the one that you have to earn these ways, and you can't earn her this other way. You know, it's like, well, can you earn the Sundered Spirit as a drop? Because you'd never say anything about her. All about the Goth Oracle. I have yet to run into one, and I have fought in how many Arch Witches in the last two videos you guys have seen? And that's not even the ones that I had to that I didn't get to record. I mean... It's mind-boggling, this event, so far. And I'm not talking bad about it or anything. I'm just, it's new. I'm just trying to get used to it a little bit. And I want to do it in videos to where I can, you know, play it for you guys. Because, spoiler alert, I do this as a hobby. I don't make money on my videos. If there is an ad on one of my videos, it may be on my older Sprite Slideshow videos. But I will get into that next time. That's a whole different topic for a whole different video. Anyway, next time, we'll be going on to the third part of that stage. So, tune in next time. Till then, I am the Cynical Shiny. And I will see you guys in the funny papers.
Have a good night.